Now let's look at the female bearing sex organ that is your archegonium. And then again, I will do as I told you. We will look first at the diagram. Okay, first of all, then we will go to the right. Because if we go to directly to the text, we get confused. No, I also confuse, you also confuse. Now here, when you look at the stages in the development of the archegonium, we will see that there is an archegonial initial. Okay, again, from this gametophyte, those are the rhizoids, etc. One cell, simply it'll, any cell from the surface, it will behave as your archegonial initial. Then, what happens? Next, it will divide periclinally and we will have a primary cover cell and a central cell. Okay. Then, the primary cover cell No, no, no. The central cell will divide into the primary canal cell and the primary venter cell. Okay. So let's look at the writing. So, the archegonium develops from a superficial archegonial initial cell. The first periclinal, periclinal division of the archegonial initial gives rise to an upper primary, upper primary upper primary cover cell and a lower central cell. So we have one archegonial initial. To give rise archegonium, we have archegonial initial. To give rise antheridium, we have a antheridial initial. Okay, so this is an archegonial initial. Divide this way and we get an upper primary cover cell and a lower central cell. Okay. Then this central cell will divide upper and lower this central cell will divide to form a primary venter cell and a primary canal cell primary vc and primary cc okay then the primary canal cell will divide repeatedly and form four to eight neck canal cells Okay, let's look at the image again. C. Okay. Um, remember a uh, 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 plant, no? This is the part of the flower, right? These are the worlds, calyx, corolla. This is the stigma and the style. Okay. Then, when the pollen tube, it lands there, it has to pass through this canal to reach the egg cell, isn't it? So, same here. Are you seeing a canal word? Yes, you see a canal. No, there will be a canal cell. Then, this primary canal cell will divide into 4 to 6 or 4 to 8 long neck cells okay here do you see these it's like a neck it's like a vase face no like a vase like that you see these neck neck cells these neck cells they have formed from the primary canal cell then from the other cell remember we had the primary canal cell and the primary vector cell from this vector cell you will get your X cell, it will divide again, it will divide, the primary venter cell will divide to form one ventral canal cell and one X cell, okay, and this is the X cell who will, uh, what to say, uh, uh, receive the antherozoids and form the zygote, okay, so I think it's easy enough, this is how the mature archegonium will appear, okay, you have a neck and then it will, uh, then you have the uh, neck canal cells, the ventral canal cells, the egg cell, okay. And then remember the antherozoid, the round round one with the long flagella. This neck cell will disintegrate and form a drain, okay. 
or kernel so that that anthrazoid can enter and it can fuse with the excel okay it's not as tough as it looks like it just looks tough but it's very easy to understand okay so the primary canal cell will divide repeatedly and form four to eight neck canal cells okay then the venter cell will form the egg okay after cutting off one ventral canal cell so the upper primary cover cells divide and redivide to form the neck of the archegonium the venter is embedded in the gametophyte tissue and the neck of the archegonium protrudes out okay just like we saw in the image of the gametophyte okay